but crazy that we only have seven minutes, yes, seven minutes to complete this, and ultimately we're going for quite a cash prize, I will say, so I got some headphones today, we do have some salsas here as well, so uh, it starts whenever we take a bite, this is a very, very hefty thing, this is, this is solid. All right, so how do we get started? Let's say the count of... Once upon a time, there's a man named Joel Hansen. Joel Hansen, he liked to eat. So much so, that he flew from Louisville, Kentucky to Seattle, Washington. Now he had a 13 hour overnight layover. He got less than 30 minutes of sleep and he was flying to Washington for less than 12 hours. Once he got there, he had to drive to Yakima, Yakima a few hours away to eat a burrito challenge. Now this burrito challenge had a jackpot prize of $640. It got international publicity. People knew about this thing all over the world and eventually the jackpot had to be broken. So Joel wanted to see if he could be the man to make it spill. Hey everyone, Joel Henson here today. We're in Yakima, Washington. Yakima. Basically like two and a half hours east and a little south of Seattle, if I'm not mistaken. So here we are at Bullseye's Burgers to do their crazy burrito challenge. So this is a burrito challenge that's gone viral all over the place. So many people of you have sent it to me. So thank you for all sending it to me, especially uh, thanks to our friend Miguel. I'm sorry for mispronouncing your name. Uh, he's definitely kept me updated. So this burrito currently is a $640 cash jackpot prize. This is the sign, Bullseye Burgers, subs, and more. And basically, if you beat the burrito, you get the cash prize. It costs $20 regardless, but you get the cash if you win. Nobody's been able to beat this. thing is undefeated. Why? Because you only have a seven minute time limit. Yes, you have a seven minute time limit to eat an absolutely massive burrito. I've heard speculations that somewhere it's between four and five pounds. So that's a big burrito and seven minutes is not a lot of time. So I'm really like fingers crossed. We came a long way to try to do this. So wish us luck. That's about it. Just really wish us luck. We're gonna need it. Whew, so let's tune in. I'm a little nervous, but uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll have some fun. We'll eat some food, and that's it. Yakima, Washington. Let's eat this burrito. Hi, everyone. So here are with the burrito. Uh, definitely a big one. It is monstrous, but crazy that we only have seven minutes. Yes, seven minutes to complete this, and ultimately we're going for quite a cash prize, I will say. So I got some headphones today. We do have some salsas here as well. So uh, it starts whenever we take a bite. This is a very, very hefty thing. This is, this is solid. All right, so how do we get started? Let's say the count of five, four, three, two, one, let's go.
only two minutes down right there. Yeah, five minutes. Just over five minutes, something like that. Or was it five minutes? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 249. Yeah, so just over five, four five minutes. minutes. Really, really good. Um, <laughs> excuse me, we got some air in there. Tasty burrito, no complaints. So, yeah, for that, I guess we get 640 bucks, which is pretty dang cool. So, we got a winner, okay, okay. finally. So, <laughs> that, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. If you're ever in the Yakima area, definitely come on by. Check this place out. Great staff. Really cool people. We got a, quite a crowd here. And that's about that. So until next time. That's pretty cool. Woo! Stay happy, all the hungry and happy eating. Look at that. And that was the official exchange. Here we have $640. So that was pretty cool. We came, we conquered. But uh, no, seriously, huge thanks to everybody here. Really cool people, great staff. And uh, it's cool. Cool experience. Yakima. Washington. And here we got a shirt, bullseye, burgers, subs, and more. Pretty cool. All right, and in case anybody wanted to get an insight into a little bit of the strategy behind this, um, so basically, again, this is a very large burrito weighing about five pounds. The thing was incredibly solid and you can see that just by the way I'm having to grip it and how, let's say, sturdy and stable this is together. So burrito challenges, in my opinion, are some of the easier challenges to do, being that as long as you have the capacity and the ability to eat quickly, they don't require an absurd amount of chewing generally. and you know, they should kind of go down because things are kind of already in small portions. Um, they're already kind of, you know, mm, it doesn't require a lot of chewing generally, or at least it shouldn't. So I really tried to keep the burrito together as much as I could. I knew it was going to fall apart at some point, and I didn't mind getting messy when we had a cash prize on the line. 
Now, of course, a couple other ways people do it is sometimes they try to separate the burritos, eat the insides first, then the outside. That can be fine as well, that's just not what I chose to today. So again, I went with keeping the burrito together. I didn't uh, actually add any extra salsas or sauces, but I had them there on the side in case I needed to or I wanted to. And that would be if I wanted to add more moisture to the burrito. Um, I found it was moist enough, and then I was also using my liquids very liberally, um, swallowing large pieces if I needed to, just because I was very concerned about getting the uh, challenge done in that seven minute time limit. Seven minutes really is not a lot of time, especially for this amount of food, and it was very difficult, and especially because I knew it was absolutely undefeated. So getting here to the end, like I said, I was not worried about getting messy, but I wanted to try to consume as much as I could, um, like by putting it into my mouth and as little onto the plate as possible because it's gonna take me time to scrape this up and eat it like I was right now. By about this point, I was looking at the time and I realized, okay, I probably have this, um, you know, so I did kind of probably ease off about five to 10%. But I had my headphones in, I had my music blaring, I wasn't going to do any talking, I just went straight into it, head first, roaring, ready to rock, because I really wanted that cash prize. I flew across the country, and uh, you know, it was doing a bit of a gamble, we'll say. So I was pretty excited that I was able to do it, and uh, that was kind of the strategy behind the Burrito Challenge. So I hope that it was a little uh, insightful, hope that it was informative, and uh, I hope ultimately you enjoyed this video. And here we are out in Washington. We are east of Seattle, heading towards Yakima. And look at these freaking mountains. Look at these peaks. Looks absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. I am just absolutely in awe. Here we have another beautiful, beautiful sight. We have the mountains. We have a crystal blue water. I'd love to go swim in that. It's gorgeous. And then here's an area of Washington I've never seen before. This is out towards Yakima, Yakima. And like, look, the plants are like desert plants. This, you know, the mountains and the hillsides really represent kind of like a desert-ish climate. If we look this way, you see all the mountains and stuff. Again, they represent something which I would consider like a little bit more desert keeping, um, which is really interesting. I didn't know Washington, kind of a little further uh, east Washington, looks like this because anything around Seattle where the areas we saw so far were very like lush and green and seemed very um, like um, I don't know more just forest like a like a rotational season forest if that makes sense you know evergreens and stuff and here it's very much resembles something I would expect to see uh, quite a bit further south so very interesting Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. I and mean, also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.